Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Amcaboose here, bringing you another gameplay commentary. And today uh, is another amazing Spider-Man video. I've been posting just one after the other, after the other, after the other. I'm posting so much gameplay for this game. It's unbelievable. I hope you guys enjoy it. But um, today I am playing the Black Cat side mission, which is just... It's really awesome. I'm really glad they threw this into the game. Um, it's in the St. Gabriel's bl uh, Bank. Yeah, bleh. But, uh, yeah, it's an awesome mission. But, unfortunately, today isn't about this side mission, but it is about the Amazing Spider-Man video game. Today is my review of the game. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to go over, so I wanted to choose a very... Not very long, but, uh, I guess, decently long video... To uh, just kind of go in depth of what I like the game, the graphics and gameplay and the story and all that and that and that and then and then we're going on. Now, so let's talk about the story. The Amazing Spider-Man is pretty much the the video game is pretty much taking place just after the movie. Um, Sp Peter Parker, Spider-Man, and he's with Gwen Stacy and all the events that happen in the movie are you know continued events that are still in this game that are mentioned and all that such as a uh, big spoiler if you haven't watched the movie or anything but uh such as you know references to captain spacey dying state spacey stacy and uh you know kurt connors it's the lizard and all that and him going to the insane asylum and everything um but the story is also about a uh, about Oscorp continuing to work on this cross species genetics on um you know with different cross species such as the rhino I iguanas um rats you know there's vermin in the game and uh just and so on and so forth and uh Alistair Smythe is the one working on all this stuff and Gwen gets pretty much bitten by one of these cross species and she's kind of infected and then people start slowly getting infected themselves and just become these like weird creatures that attack you and all that and it's um it's a lot of fun and it's it's just kind of weird just like you know just to think if you were actually in a situation such as that would just kind of be you know scary but um but yeah uh, I I don't know what else to say. Um, that that's pretty much the st the the gist of the story. Uh, Spider Man throughout the story tries to get a cure for Gwen, and then after he gets this cure for Gwen, he wants to get the cure out to the rest of the city. You know, he needs to save the city, and all that. And uh, you know, it's very interesting. Uh, pretty awesome concept. I'm not sure if I'm saying uh or um or this and that a lot and over and over. I'm gonna try not to, but uh, I just did it. See, look, I just. What are you gonna do? In all seriousness, though, the story is really good. Um, just, <laughs> I just can't stop saying it. It's just in my nature. It's it's a very good, very good game. But now I'm gonna talk about the gameplay. The gameplay in the Amazing Spider-Man is very similar to the gameplay in Batman: Arkham City. It's not as smooth. The, you know, the hitting and, you know, the just the transition and going from one enemy to the other is, isn't is as smooth. And the dodging just kind of doesn't register all the time. And it's sort of annoying. But um, it doesn't really bother me. I like the fact that you kind of have the fighting style from Batman Arkham City, you know, incorporated into Spider-Man. You know, so you got the webbing and all that and just... This high flying, jumping all over the place, doing these cool acrobatic moves, and then you've also got the stealth gameplay, which um, it's just it's kind of repetitive. Like if you stealth take down somebody, it's never really different. It's just he, you know, he does like the same action and then webs them to the roof. You know, it's nothing that's like kind of like how Arkham City does it. And look at this huge combo here, but uh, it's nothing. And that's that's awesome, yeah. But uh, it's nothing like the stealth takedowns in Batman Arkham City, where you know it was you know it was different. It, there was a lot of different ways of stealthily taking someone down, 
And, uh, you know, it's really good. It was really good. But another thing about the gameplay is swinging through the city. The uh, the camera angle is now much closer to Spider-Man, which um, at first was, like, really hard to get used to. Like, But, like, that was for, like, the first two minutes. And then as soon as, you know, you get that feel every now and then, you just you drop from really high and then you swing right when you're about to hit the bottom. It's awesome. It's a lot of fun. Um, sorry about that, but, uh, but yeah, the swinging, it just looks so cool, you know, just, um, you can, you can really tell, like, it, it gets fuzzy, kind of, around, everything around Spider-Man, you can really tell it's kind of how it would seem, because he's going at such a high speed, swinging through the city. Uh, what else do I have to talk about? The gameplay during the missions, uh, I love being in the city, they're like, three or four chapters where you're like having fights in the city and I really like that but I gotta say like I just I, I don't like the missions inside everything's so closed in you know you're you're always under a small roof you don't have much places to move around but um you know I can't complain uh, it's still a ton of fun. The missions are, you know, not that bad. I like the boss battles. They're uh, some of them are more challenging than others, but uh, th it's really good. And last but not least, I'm gonna talk about my score and whether or not this game is worth buying. Is this give you the bang for your buck? Uh, do you want to spend sixty dollars on this game? If it were in my case, because I love Spider-Man, you know, Spider-Man is one of my favorite characters in the Marvel Universe and probably anybody else's. But uh, if it was in that case, I would definitely pick up this game because uh, it includes a lot of Easter eggs to some of the some of the villains that are like, you know, a lot of hardcore Spider-Man fans would know about, like some villains that not just a regular Spider-Man fan would know about. That's what I, like, love about this game. Um, like, Alistair Smythe and stuff like that. Like, a lot of people don't know who that is. But uh, it's also got, who else, like, Easter eggs of Hydra-Man. I'm going to be posting up all the Easter eggs that I found in the game. But, uh, yeah, this game would definitely be a great pickup if you love Spider-Man. But uh, if you're not that great of a Spider-Man fan, first of all, I would tell you what's wrong with you. And then second of all, I would say, well, you know, I guess just don't pick up the game. Uh, if I could rate it out of 10, I would give it an 8. It's not a 10 out of 10 because the fighting style is kind of messed up and the missions is very enclosed space. But other than that, pick it up if you love Spider-Man. It's a great addition to the Spider-Man game franchise because the Edge of Time and the Shadow Dimension games weren't as good. But finally, Free Roam's back and it's almost better than ever. I can't compare it to Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2 was the greatest free roam Spider-Man game of all time. But, uh, but, yeah, pick up this game if you like Spider-Man. I said that, like, for the third time now. Uh, I messed up a lot in words, but who cares? Sh subscribe, like, like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Uh, more gameplay coming out. The next part to this, uh, the next part to the side mission, I will be doing a review for the movie with a buddy of mine, Amp Reckoner. So stay tuned for that. Once again, I'm Amp Caboose. Like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later.